come to GC engineering and technical drawing today we'll be solving a question of the, the, the first room of a cone on my right is the question so first we'll first produce an uh, image now from a diagram knowing that the diameter of the cone is 50 millimeter so peak radius 25 and then by my left here, I'll place it at the point of this intersection of the intersection here. And then I'll draw a cycle. Now I'll project my T square upward and then I'll draw a line. Then I'll number my circle side 0, 0. Then I'll project point zero to touch my horizontal line. I'll do same to the other side. And then I'll call the points okay, point A and then point B. Now knowing that the height of my cone is 60 millimeter, I'll measure 60 millimeter from point from line A A B. 60 millimeter upward then I'll give it a mark call that point point C I'll join point C with point A and then point C to point B I'm done doing that it says from point C we should measure 15 millimeter downward so from point C measure 15 millimeter downward and i'll represent it with a line touching one side of my cone then i'll call that point over here point e1 now i'll measure 10 millimeter from point a 10 millimeter from point a then I will join point A1 to my point. Then outline. Then from my diagram, it says we have a radius. We have a radius of 20 millimeter. So I'll place my pin at point B and then I'll draw an arc touching the two sides. Of my cone then I'll outline the portion that needs to be outlined if you are asked to produce the true shape this is the true shape so now the next thing we divide our circles into 12 equal number of parts we've succeeded in dividing our circles into 12 equal number of parts then we will number call this 0 1 2 3 4 5 this is 0 5 4, 3, 2, 1, and then 0. We we'll project each of our lines to touch line AB, each of our points to touch line AB. We are done in projecting our lines. You can see 1 is touching 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5. Then we join each of our lines to point C. Now we've succeeded in drawing our line to point C. So our attempt in number one, which says our complete plan. So now we'll project line zero to point A to point C. We find that it hits a point here. We'll call that point point zero. And then if you checked one, it hits our plane here. We'll call it one. Now two passes through without touching. Three did not touch. Now four hits up arc here. Call that point point four. Five also touch our arc here. We'll call that point five. Now zero also touch our arc at this point. So we'll call that point zero. So the next thing we'll do is that we'll project point zero here from this arc. Project point zero to hit line zero on our cycle. Now you can see line zero touches our projected point zero this way. Now We'll go to point one, point one here, point one, 
and then we'll project it to hit line one. You discover it hits line one at this portion here and then this portion. Now also we'll move to point four since point four is touching our arc here, then we'll project it downward to hit line four. Where it hits line four, we'll put the point. Where it hits line four, put our point. Move to five. Then we'll project a line straight to hit line five. Where it hits line five, we'll put our points, indicate our point. Now at point zero, we'll put a straight line to hit line zero, and then we'll put we indicate with the line with the point. Now also we'll move you discover that our arc a cone here where it cuts you project that point straight and then it hits the circumference of our cycle at these two portion then we'll call that point a1 and then point a2 let me just indicate it a1 a1 point a1 point a1 we'll join point a1 to To the midpoint of our circle and then also we discover also from point three here we find that out close to point three there's a, the arc also from our cone we project it downward to cut the circumference of our circle now it hits the circumference of our circle at this portion and also at this portion we we'll call this Point B1, and then we'll call this point B1. Now we we'll join point B1 also to the midpoint of our circles. And then we'll outline our points. I did a little sketch, then I'll outline. And then I'm done with my complete plan. Here will be an outline, here will be an outline. Now we're moving to our next question. We say we should produce our end elevation. So we'll pick a point of our choice. And then we indicate a line. Then we place our 45 degree set square to produce angle 45 degree. Now from point zero zero, there's a center line. So we indicate our center line upward. We succeeded in projecting our center line upward. So we we'll move our T square to point three we'll draw a straight line once it hits our angle 45 degree we'll project it to hit line a b extension line a b extension then we'll call it point three now also move to point two and four we'll draw a straight line once it hits our 45 degree we'll project upward and then we'll call that point Point two comma four. Now also at you discover at point A one. Okay, let me move to point B one first. I'll draw a straight line. Once it hits the my forty five degree, I'll project it upward. Now call that point point B one. Also at point A one. I'll draw a straight line once it is my 45 degree I'll project it upward and then I'll call that point point a1 also I'll do same for points 1 and 5 
or project it upward I'll call that 1,5 my center line 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 I'll do same from the bottom part once I hit my 45 degree I'll project upward and I'll call that point 1,5 I'll do same to point A1. I'll draw a straight line. Once it hit my 45 degree, then I'll press it upward. I'll call that point point A1. Now I'll project point two and four. Once it hit my 45 degree, I'll project upward and then I'll call that point point two line 2 comma 4 now I'll do same for point 3 once it hits my 45 degree I'll project upward and I'll call that point line 3 the next thing I'll do is that I'll raise my T square upward and then I'll draw a straight line from point C to my right touching the center line and I'll call that point C1 I'll join each of my numbered line to point C1. I've succeeded in projecting each of my lines to point C1. So the next thing I'll do, I'll come to my image at point zero. I'll project a line straight. And then I'll indicate where line zero is. Then I'll put a point. Now also at point 1, I'll draw a straight line and I'll indicate where point 1 is. There's point 1 here, 1,5 point 1. And also there's point 1 here, 1,5. So I'll put the point. Now at point A1, you can see point a this is point a this is my a this is my a1 so at point a1 i'll trace a point till it hits line a1 so i'll come over and trace line a1 and then i'll put my point at line a1 so i'll come here also and i'll indicate line a1 so similarly I'll do same thing for this arc at point zero. I'll draw a straight line and then I'll indicate point zero. Then for five point five, I'll draw a straight line and then I'll look for one comma five. There's point five here. One comma five. There is point five also here. So I'll move to four. I'll locate where point 4 is. There's 2,4 here. And then I'll put my points. 2,4, I'll put my points. And then I'll come also here, 2,4. This 2,4, I'll put my points. We're doing in locating point 4, line 4, 2,4. So the next thing we'll do is at point B, draw a straight line that will locate where line B is. That will put a point and we'll locate where line B is. That will put a point. Now we'll trace out this first, started from 0, 5, 4, and then it ends in B. So succeeded in, in outlining. So outline properly. You are done. So the next one will outline 
top part and remember that it ends in line a1 which this is point a1 You add line. And then you add line this portion. Don't forget that this portion here this portion that I outlined you indicate it with a broken line now indicating that it is hidden but there's a portion which was truncated now if you are looking at it from this portion you will not see this full image you only see part of it at the bottom and then this point should be located with a broken line indicating that there is a part which was cut from the cone so outline the bottom part of our diagram we've done it with our end elevation they'll move to done with our end elevation they'll move to our development open your compass from point c and stretch to point A, you draw an, an arc. Now you transfer the distance of your circle, your divided circle, one of the distance, and then you mark the arc. You transfer the distance to your arc. We we'll succeeded in marking it out, then we we'll number. Call this 0, 1, 2, three four five zero five four three two one and then zero we'll join each of these number points to point c we have succeeded in joining each of our number points to point c so next thing we'll do we'll put our compass pin at point c stretch it to point zero and then an arc and then we'll locate point zero and then we'll put a point line zero put our point now we'll stretch it also to point one and then we'll locate line one Two points K, okay. two points zero, put our point here, pardon, point zero, and then we'll put project point one, place our point here, and then point one here. Next thing we'll do, we'll put our pin at point C, stretch to point A1, grab an arc. Then we we'll move to our circle and then we'll take the distance between point A to point 1. I'll place it at point 1. Then we'll put a mark, call that point point A1. Then we'll locate point 1 also, put a mark, call that point point. A1. Now we we'll join this point A1 to point C. We we'll also join point A1 to point C. Now where our arc of our arc of line A1 hits this point, which we project to C. Then we indicate with the points now knowing that point a1 shares 
the same baseline width 0 0.0 we'll draw from 0, 0.0 then we'll, we'll join our points together to sketch and then with the sketch then we outline next thing we'll do put our pin to point C stretch to point zero zero here draw an arc now bring it to line zero put the points next thing we'll stretch to line five They are close, so we put a point at line 5, then you locate line 5. Similarly, you stretch to 4, then you draw an arc, locate line 4, and then line 4. We we'll stretch to B can see it here b1 this point here is b1 we we'll stretch to point b1 draw our arc this is our arc of b1 so we'll move to our circle take the distance from 4 to b1 so place it at point 4 pin at 4 cut an arc Locate that point called this point B1. Go to point 4 so cut an arc called that point point B1. We'll join point B1 to point C. And point B1 to point C. Then our arc of points, our arc of B1 put a point not so put a point knowing that point b1 share the same baseline with zero we'll outline from zero to point b1 and then we'll sketch out how our pattern is going to look like And then we'll outline. We're done with outlining. This portion will be an outline, not an outline. Thank you for watching. I still remain GC Engineering and Technical Drawing. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel. You can do well as go to my page. There are so many development questions I've answered and then you watch it and then you are good to go in the development of a cone. Thank you very much. I still remain GC Engineering Drawing. Give me a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel.